Hi everybody, welcome to another Quick Wing Tips. Today we're going to check out how to build a basic session into Logix. I want to go uh, into deeper tutorial, I want to go into way more advanced stuff, but for now I want to make sure that everybody is on the same level. So we're going to build a session with only 16 input and we're going to play it back through only two output audio USB 1 and 2. Let me show you what I mean. Let's open Logic. We're going to create a new project because I want to start with a new empty project like if it was the first time that you open up Logic. So we're going to choose here empty project and we have this screen popping up. Uh, we want to set up or interface. Make sure that here you have the wing. If not, select this arrow here. Go in uh, preference device audio. Select your wing. Um, double check your buffer size because we're not going to do any monitoring through the software we're going to monitor through the console uh, you can leave it fairly high uh, it will help you reduce your processor uh, load it will help you reduce uh, risk of glitching because if you put your buffer too low you might uh, encounter some uh, artifacts some crackling uh, from the computer struggling to give you the audio that you want so leave it high in a setup like this it's not going to change much apply and we've got to set up the amount of track that we want to have so uh, we're going to use a maximum of 16 tracks so there's already a one we're going to go 16 track and we want to start with audio input number one we have 48 mono or stereo they can be paired uh, in logic if you want to have 24 stereo track that's also an option we want to have everything going through output one and two and we want to click on the input side ascending because we're going to create 16 track and logic will auto assign track one to input one track two to input two and so on for the 16 track we also want to check out the record enable because it will just save us uh to just enable everything if you don't want to record the 16 track together you can uh check out the record enable that way when you press record only the track that you designed to harm will go on uh actually uh, we're gonna set up record enable for now i'm gonna click create and that give us 16 track ready to record this is the kind of setup that you would use if you were to record a drum with 16 input or a band live off the floor you have eight input of drums some stuff microphone you can record a band with 16 input i've done that before but let's say that we're going to record a drum because this is something that i will do in the future we will record a drum together actually i want to record a full song so if you are not recording all your musician together you don't need to have a lot of track on at the same time uh, we're gonna delete these we can record a track of drum then record eight more track of something else We're not limited in the amount of track that we have available in logic We are only limited with the amount of track that we can record at the same time on the wing because we only have 16 physical input in this setup so you may remember that I have a vocal microphone plug into input one you can see it on the you can see it on the screen right now going on. Uh, I'm going to record a track. Hey, hey, check, check, one, two, check, 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 one, two, hey, hey, hey. This seems to work fine. If we try to play back everything right now, there is no sound coming out of anywhere. The signal that we just recorded are going out of the software into USB channel one and two. By default, those computer return those signal are already on a channel on the wing in channel 41 when you physically lifting that fader and sending it through main out one if your speaker are plugged in main out one the signal will go out from there if you are plugged in the back in aux out seven and eight if you don't raise the fader and just press solo if you are in those output you will still have signal it's a two different way to work so it's up to you to decide what you want to use there if you want to layer some stuff on what you already record, just right click, new track, and select the input that you want to use. Let's say we want to use input 9 for track 9. It can be any of the 48 input. But for this example, track 9 will be audio number 9, and that could be our bass guitar if we already record some drum. I'm just going to take record out of this track. That way you don't record over them 
and we're gonna play back and I'm gonna press record I don't have any signal going in there right now but you get the idea that you are pretty much free to do whatever you want at that point I don't think there is a limitation on the amount of track that you can have in logic at this point you can now record a band live off the floor or every band member separately and layer them together so that's going to be it for this first episode on logic stick around i will have some way more advanced stuff coming i just want to cover all the bases here if you like that video give it a thumbs up if you want to see more video about the wing both live and in the studio subscribe to the channel until the next one please take care of yourself and i see you guys later